Perhaps the most important legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was his drawing attention to the injustice of the planet's richest nation having citizens in a constant state of poverty. Inspired by Dr. King's goal of economic uplift, lifelong education policy expert Rich Stoles has devoted his career to aid the economically disadvantaged. As executive director of One America, a Washington State advocacy group, that's my home state. I'm not gonna stop doing it. Stoles works to influence governmental policy to make sure immigrant communities and those from low-income households have the same shot as everyone else. Let's look at how One America works every day to make Dr. King's dream a reality. One America is a multi-issue organization grounded in immigrant and refugee communities. And our day-to-day -day work is, is really about building relationships and working with people in community. One of our major victories uh, a few years back was passing the Washington State Dream Act, which uh, extended the financial aid to undocumented youth. Here in King County, we have an opportunity to really transform the workforce development system so that it better meets the needs of underserved populations. It uh, zeroes in on um, a number of approaches to truly really focus resources on the communities that need it most. And the English Innovations Program is an approach to uh, adult English language learning that um, blends digital literacy with contextualized learning. It takes place in churches and classrooms and community-based organizations, on work sites that really um, helps people to learn English while developing other skills. So One America was founded originally as Hate Free Zone following the 9-11 terrorist attacks when there was a terrible backlash against Muslims, anyone who looked Muslim, and immigrants. And so our organization came together to push back against the hate and to build broad, multiracial, multi-ethnic, interreligious coalitions. So the IFTAR is an example of how we consistently bring people together um, across religion and faith, across age, ethnicity, um, and in fact people who really participate in One America believe in that, um, in that diversity of stakeholders and the value of coming together, which is why Hate Free Zone became One America. Ladies, gentlemen, distinguished guests, accepting for One America, Katie Dong and Monica Roman. Thank you to the Human and Civil Rights Committee of the NEA for your recognition of our community's work. We are so honored. We are committed to ensuring immigrants thrive, not just survive, by helping them realize and step into their power to generate change in our community, such as our youth leader, Monica Roman. Again, I am Monica Roman Ruiz, a youth organizer with One America focusing on immigration and education advocacy. In elementary school, I read a book called My Name is Sally Little Song by Brenda Woods. It was about a young girl born into slavery whose family decides to run away in hopes of being adopted into a nearby Native American community. I remember this being one of the few bo books I truly loved as a child. And although I was not reflected in the story, I felt connected. I felt connected to the story of a girl who felt lost and alone, and most American students feel neither reflected nor connected to modern education curriculums and systems. But I can assure you, at some point in the journey, they have felt alone. 
The true essence of education lies in the exchanges and experiences and feel oh in the exchanges of experiences, feelings, and knowledge. Back then, I wasn't able to understand how lucky I was to have been exposed to a narrative outside of my own. But that is why I believe in equitable education, because I was exposed and everybody else deserves to have that complete education. As the next gener <laughs> As the next generation to harness the power of change, we demand it to be so, because who else is more fit to harness that power other than those next in line? The marathon continues. Thank you. <laughs>